Hey guys, so as I am trying to uh, bring my channel kind of back to life here, um, one of the things I've been watching is a lot of Copart videos, and everybody seems to be using a broker, and I figured I would try and take it a step further and talk about how to get your dealer's license. So here in the state of Massachusetts, uh, it is regulated per town, so it's up to the town to give you the dealer license and not the state. Uh, so I went and started investigating what it would take for me to get my dealer's license and uh, a couple of the things that my town requires um, is I have to have a DBA so I went and set that up so you'll notice uh, as I continue on with my channel you'll see uh, you'll start to see a change over to ACH Automotive um, that's that's my DBA um, so that's what I'm going to be doing with my my uh, YouTube channel um, and to try and do some of this uh, co-part stuff um, Everybody probably says, well, you can use a broker instead of why, why are you going through all this? But uh, I like to do some business stuff, and I figured uh, if I could set it up as a business um, and make a little extra money on the side out of it, um, you know, that's kind of where I would go with it. So uh, basically, uh, in my town, you have to do, um, you have to fill out a planning board application once you go through the DBA application. Uh, the DBA application is fairly simple. Um, you fill it out with your name, address, uh, who you're going to be doing business as. So in my case, my you know my name and then my business name, and then my town requires is a forty dollar filing fee. They notarize it, send it back, and that's pretty much that. Um, the next step in this process for me to get my dealer license is I had to fill out this uh, special planning board application, and I have a very very small town, so uh, it's it's all done by paper and it's all. Um, uh, it, it's done by, uh, you know, basically by a, you know, you have to go in front of the planning board and tell them what your, you know, what your intentions are, what you're going to do, basically kind of formulate a little bit of a business plan, which I'm in the process of writing. Um, so, uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward. I think there's three different classes of dealer licenses in the state of Massachusetts. There's class one, uh, which is for new vehicles, so say you're going to buy a brand new Dodge, Ford, Toyota, whatever, uh, that obviously doesn't fall under me because I don't have a franchise agreement. Uh, there's a Class 2 license and a Class 3 license. The Class 2 license allows you to sell used vehicles, um, so I could go to auction, buy used vehicles, and sell them. Uh, class 3 uh, is more of a, I'm going to buy broken vehicles, fix them, and uh, resell them. So I'm not sure exactly where I fall because some of the vehicles I will buy will probably be uh, needing repair. Some of them may get parted out. Some of them, you know, depends on what the vehicle is. So I'm not really sure how the town's going to classify me as cl class two or class three. I, I feel like I fall more towards class three. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, but it you know I guess it depends upon what our town planning board uh, sees. If you get a Class 2 license uh, in the state of Massachusetts, you need a minimum of a $25,000 surety bond, or uh, you need to be able to you know, have that, that, that financial backing by yourself. Um, so if that's the route that I go, then hopefully I'll take you through that process as well. I think it's fairly straightforward. Um, and uh, so once you fill out, once you get on the planning board's uh, agenda here, in my town anyway, um, they have... Uh, 65 days from the date of filing to have a, uh, a, a hearing. Basically what they're going to do is they're going to notify my neighbors and say, hey, uh, Alex wants to have a, a garage in his home office, a home shop, home garage. Um, and uh, then they'll have a public hearing and give my neighbors a chance to, uh, you know, voice their opinion whether they, you know, don't like the idea or whatnot. I mean, I live out in the middle of the woods, so I don't really see that being a problem. Um, hopefully I'll be able to bring you some video from uh, that meeting, uh, my initial meeting uh, with the planning board to discuss this uh, will be in November. Um, it's planned rather far out, uh, so I don't know how strict they are to the dates. Um, they do say I should have a decision within 90 days of the hearing, so uh, which is, you know, we'll, we'll have to go from there, I guess. I, I would plan on sometime starting this process, uh, you know, in the spring based upon. Uh, you know how 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 it takes them to uh, you know to do all the, to go through this whole procedure. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my 
do a license and have it in spring and hit the ground running when the weather turns nice. In the meantime, uh, as I re kind of revive the channel here, uh, I have my F-150, uh, the red one you see in a couple of my videos that I'll be rebuilding the front end on, um, and I have my Mustang that I'm hoping to get back together and uh, you know get the transmission and stuff back together. So uh, this is kind of a part one of maybe many videos to come on obtaining your, your, your dealer license um, as I kind of walk through the process. Um, you know, if anybody has, uh, you know, any advice uh, or if you've gone through this, uh, if you comment below. Um, if you like what I'm trying to do here, feel free to subscribe and like the video below as well.